Hello everybody, welcome to Newstead Mock number four video walkthrough. Starting off with question number one, we have comb is to something, is brushes to something. These are the things that make up the comb. So a comb has teeth and a brush has bristles. Question number two, library is to something, library has books and bank has money. Question three, a knife has its pair is a fork and you normally hear a cup and saucer together these are pairs question number four the only one that makes sense over here because you can have a rift which is sort of like a tear but then iron isn't exactly a synonym for lead however rate is the letters of tear or tear uh, rearranged just like deal is the letters of lead rearranged so for four we get CX, um, number five, capital is to something, mountain is to something. These are geographical places. The capital of a city can be, capital of a country can be Paris, and then the type of mountain can be Everest. And then question number six, cheeky something. These are analogies we've heard growing up. So cheeky monkey or a sly fox. These are characteristically what these animals are like. And then question number seven, just zoom out a bit over here. Let's find the code. I can see that there are some things in common. We have three first, three third. Uh, and then that means we looks like we have R third and then R first. So we can assume that uh, R is three. In that case, this one has to be read over here. And then that means that three, four, two, five, if the word is bread, we have to end in three, four, two, five. The only one that does that is C. Um, but just for the sake of the question, let's figure out the other ones. If three, if R is third, that means this one is bear, which means we found the uh b that we need and then darted uh five has to start off with five a is two five two can cross all of these out to be a question number five six is going to be we haven't figured out six yet if seven is b that means this one has to be date over here that means six is going to be t first which means you can cross out these and then three is r so it's going to be t r which all of them are and then two is a so it's going to be tra or tray and five is uh d so it's going to be d e and then the last letter is Five, which is another R, so it's going to be B. Question number 10, what's in common? We have six last, six seconds, six also second, which looks like it's L. Because we never have M uh, penultimately. So this is L, 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 which means if it ends in L, this is going to be L. Now, claim, it looks like if that one's L, we have to figure out which one's which. So seven can be first or last, which means M can be last. Let's say this is M, and M is going to start off here. So this is milk. This is calm. Then, that means this is going to be claim. We have one, six... One six A is three, one six three. Cross all of them out, we just get um E. Question number eleven, we get uh seven three cross these out. Seven three last one is going to be nine, 
which means you can cross that out. And then the second loss is going to be E is 5. It's going to be 5, 9, which gives us B. And then nine five seven R E it's gonna be C. Next one we have to find the um four letters hidden in the sentence. Over here we have omen, which is going to be bridegroom entertained. Question number fourteen. We have over here Liu, which is going to be B, 15. We can see Vest over here, so it's going to be C. Question number 16. We can get Vain, Detective Injured. Question number 17. We have Spot, Boils Potatoes. Question number 18. Then we have menu, which is the same number. Now we have some codes. P to L is minus 2, 4. M minus 4 will be 2, uh, 4. So we're going to get I first. And then O to A is going to be... Let's see if we can go backwards. P, L... And then L, O to A, let's go back, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. L minus 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We get I, X. E to C is going to be minus 2. A minus 2 is going to be Y. We can cross out all of these. And then A to X is going to be minus 3. C minus 3 is 1, 2, 3. We're going to get Y, Z, which is uh, E. And then question number 21. M to N, just the one after. It's going to be Q at the beginning. L to O plus 3, Q plus 3 is T, we get Q, T. And then 22, G to D is going to be minus 1, 2, 3. J minus 3, 1, 2, 3, we get G, which means uh, D is our answer. 23, Y to B, add 1, 2, 3. X plus 3 is 1, 2, 3, it's going to be A. At the beginning, cross these out, and then A to X minus 3 said minus three is going to be one two three which is going to be a w and then 24 l to o add three t add three is going to be w which is all of them then l to h is going to be minus two four s minus four is going to be two four which is going to be w o we get b question 25 h to g is minus one and then since we're going code to word, so G to H is going to be plus one, P to O is going to be minus one, K plus one. So it's going to go plus one is G, minus one is L, it's G, L, T plus one is U, so we get U, and then uh, plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one is going to be M. So question 25, we have to go from code to word and we see it's going plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. So uh, G and L are the same for all of them. So we really only have to start from the second words. So plus one, minus one, plus one, T plus one is going to be G, L, U. And then N minus 1 is going to be M. So we get D for 25. 26, let's see, uh, we can cross out some, but just the first 
first one. S to H, or let's go backwards because we're going code to word. H to S is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. G to T is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Plus 13. L to O is going to be plus 3. So we haven't got quite the pattern, but let's see what we can cross out. K plus 11. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So we get V first and then plus 13, L plus 13. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. We get something else, so perhaps I've counted wrong. T to G is going to be, and we go back 13. L back, uh, back 13 will be 2, 4, 6. Let's do that again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. It seems like and either one it doesn't work so let's try something different for t we can do mirror image so t to g counting t we have two four six seven one two three four five six seven t to g so mirror line works so l let's count l one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve let's count from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we get v o which leaves us with e question number 27 uh, we can get C to Z, which is minus 1, 2, 3. T minus 3 is going to be 1, 2, 3, which gives us Q. Next one, we have um, H to I add 1. Our add 1 is going to be S, which means we get, um, cross this one out. And then u to R is going to be minus 1, 2, 3. A minus 1, 2, 3 is going to be x so q s x for 27 question num number 28 question 28 o to p scroll up a teensy bit o to p plus one uh c plus one will be d and then we have to use a second letter p to r plus two h plus two will be j d j and then E to H will be plus 3, and then H plus 3 will be D, D, J, D will give us E. And then question number 29, I'm just going to keep it there so we can see the alphabet. Um, and then we get S to R minus 1, T minus 1 will be S. So I'm going to scroll down, we can cross out this, this then we end up having o to o that says the same s o cross that one out and then n to o will be plus one i plus one will be j so we get s o j question number 30 we have mirror coding so let's zoom out so we can see um we have x a and z are mirror x is one two three 1, 2, 3 is going to be C first. Then G to T, that's going to be 13. Now G is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's going to be mirror here. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We get C, L. That next one. Let's check the last one and that will give us a clue as to what um, we end off with. Y, we've got two away, two away. We end off with B, then the answer would have to be D. For question 31, we can see a relationship. 
maybe we multiply them we get 42 add 3 multiply them get 444 add 3 so that seems to be the rule so we're going to multiply them we get 88 add 3 we get 91 which is going to be b 32 maybe let's subtract um, that will be 5 if i subtract that will be 5 as well so minus 2 minus 2 add 4 or let's try adding them since that doesn't work we get 13 minus 10 will be 3 add them we get uh, 19 minus 10 will be 9 so add them we get 29 minus 10 will be 19 question 33 we can multiply them to get 36 divide that by 2 to get 18 multiply 5 and 16 to get 9 uh, 80 divide that by 2 to get 40 so multiply them that's going to be 64 divide that by 2 we're going to get 32 um, which means we get e question 34 we square this second number to get uh, 25 add 3 we get 28 so square this we get 109 100 plus 9 square this we get 121 add 24 we'd get 145 which means we would get c now this is our biggest clue we're going to half this to get 33 minus 10 we get 23 half this we get 11 minus 8 would be 3 so half this 35 minus 19 is going to be 26 it's going to be 16 which means our answer is d question 36 we divide and get 8 minus 4 is 4 60 we divide we get 12 minus 4 will be 8 divide we get 11 minus 4 will be 7 so we get 36 d question number 37 the cat scratch with his claws we get law which will be uh, b question 38 uh this favorite food was cabbage we get bag question number 39 the car skidded in the bad weather we will get um b question number 40 he begged for more space in the room that will be egg 41 this the morning we spent cleaning clearing the garden uh that's going to be d and then question number 42 i introduce my stepfather we get fat question 43 we have to choose one that will go equally fast with both pairs so 43 will be express like Heathrow Express goes very fast to um, the airport and then communicate and convey if you express your emotions. Question number 44, we get follow, pursue, stem, twig, which means um, we're going to have something like stalk because if you stalk someone, you follow them and you can get stalks coming off from plants. 45, activity design, we can have project a project or if you project something if you project a rock um or your voice you're launching that voice or that rock 46 we're gonna get uh proceeds or proceeds go to charity or you can proceed to do something 47 we get uh, item article goal purpose is going to be object and then or object no just object and the object of the game is 48 new original story and book if something's new it's quite novel you can also have a long storybook also known as a novel question number 49 most uh, similar in meaning we would get most opposite in meaning if you consider someone but uh, consider someone's proposal or something or you disregard those are opposites. 50, we can get friend and enemy for sure. Those are opposites. 51, we get flexible and stiff. If someone's very flexible, they can do a lot of flips and stuff, but your muscles can be stiff. 
52, we would get sink and float, for example, a boat. Those are complete opposites. And then 53, we can do joy and sorrow. One's happy, one's sad. And then 54, we can do um, release and seize. If you release a hostage or seize a hostage. Uh, 58, we have to complete the same way. This is going to be second, third, and then fifth. So second, third, and then fifth will be tan, which means we get B. And then let's complete the word in the same way. We get second, last, uh, and before we confirm which A, we get second, last, last, and then this. So we get P, E, and A, we get P. 56 E, and then 57, tap let's use this one uh which one we're going to use this third loss uh two over and then second so third loss two over and then second third loss two over and then second we get row 57 uh a movement we get men let's see b we don't know which one we're using, so that's first. Uh, it looks like either second, last, or two, three, four. Two, three, four. It could be either of those, so this one and that one. So first is going to be S, and then let's do two, three, four. We're going to get S, O, and then second, last. S O N, we get sun, 58 C, and then 59 pi, could be either of these or fed. It's going to be the fourth one in. So, fourth one in is going to be D, and then it can be either of these two. We get uh, fourth one in. One, two, three, four, which means D I, and then the last one is going to be end. So did, uh, dig, last one is going to be G, and then we have uh, 60 lane tear, it's going to be third, third in, P, uh, so you can cross these out, and then tear, we can either have this one or that one, so that's second last or fourth last, second last or fourth, so it's going to be fourth last, one, two, three, four, P, A, that's all of them. And then I can be these three or A is only the third. So third, P, A, N, cross this one out. And then last one, tear. Second, second is pain. So we get 60 B. We're going to find out the odd ones out. So 61, we get D and E, because if you know, these are all high up in hierarchy in like medieval England or something. But if you are someone's subordinate, you're inferior and a steward with someone who looks over the house. So it's lower in hierarchy. 62, we would get um, kitchen and pot. So spatula, whisk and ladle are all some sort of serving cutlery or cutlery that you cook with, but pot is crockery, like pots and pans. 63 would be uh, Ryan Fairground. These are all um, emotions. 64, uh, we can cross out. Uh, these are odd one out because these are some sort of respect you have to someone or admiration. 65, we can cross out... These are all females, boar and ram are not females. 66, we can do terminate an arm because these are all some sort of weapon. Let's write out what each person gets. Gerard gets 14, which we can see over here. Elizabeth only gets uh, seven because she gets half. Dylan um, gets £3 more than 
Gerard, which means uh, he will have to get 17. And then Joseph gets something more, we don't know what, but more than Elizabeth, less than Dylan, which means that Elizabeth ends up getting the least, so D. Question 68. Let's write down all their birthdays. So Joe is going to be... 22nd of March 20, 2003, let's just put 03, and then we have Sarah, who is going to be um, 22, 04, no, 09, 04, and then we know Sarah is the youngest, we also know that Turlo is going to be six months younger than Stephen. So what's Stephen? Stephen. Uh, Tyler's also six months older than Sarah, which means he's going to be 22nd of minus six will be March 04. But then he's also... Um, Stephen, he's younger than Stephen, so Stephen's older we have to minus six months it's gonna be 22 09 04 03 and so what can we say we definitely know we don't know what day it was in the question but we do know that joe we don't really care about what gender turlo is because joe is born in march 03 which makes him the oldest boy question number one for analogy so that ch shading on the inside is going to turn to black and the size stays the same. Um, the thickness of the border stays the same too. So it definitely can't be E. It most likely is going to be C because D, there's no shading on the inside and this um, is changing. So it's going to be C. Question number two, we just take the middle bits. And then if we just take the middle bit over here, it's just going to be these two diamonds on top of each other. So we're going to get A. Three, these are going to come inwards and do a uh, rotation by 45 degrees so far. But the inside does not change. So we can cross out everything. They say the same border. And then the outside shape is going to do a rotation. B is the only one that makes sense because there's a rotation and uh, the shapes inside don't change. Question number four. Uh, the one on that's penultimate here is going to go on the outside and is going to uh, do a 180 degree rotation. So we're looking for a circle that is fourth in position and is going to be pointing... Uh, upwards so then we can cross out all of these and then this uh shape this arrow is going to go to position one over here also stay in that same orientation so this one that's a hollow box it's not shaded is going to be in position one just like a question number five uh these two shapes are going to switch position and we almost have a mirror line here. So if we have a mirror line, it's gonna be, can't be A, has to point this way, and then they're going to switch position where the diamond is in the inside. We can cross these out, and it doesn't change shading. And then we have a black circle, which is gonna be B. Question six, we rotate this shape, which means it's gonna look like a pineapple, which is facing upwards. And it's going to go hollow with that dotted line in the middle. And then this goes down and then in front of the shape. So which looks like C. Question seven. We have one, two, three, four, five petals of the flower. It's going to go to four. So if we have five here, it's going to go to a four shape star. We, should, we can cross these out and the shading is going to invert. And the middle shape is going to do a rotation by 45 degrees which looks like b question number eight we rotate this shape 90 degrees clockwise which means you can cross out c we invert the uh, shading 
which means on the inside it will be hatched and then which means you can also cross out b and then we have to add this little dotted line which comes to the right hand side once you've uh, rotated it which looks like a uh, we rotate the shape and double it 180 degrees so rotate the shape and double it we're going to get something that looks like b c and d and then this black shape is going to go in between so the black circle goes in between d is facing the wrong way so it's going to be b question number 10 we have a square that goes big we're going to have a parallelogram or rhombus that goes big so it's definitely going to be a question 11 we have this big shape becoming small this big shape is going to be going to become small so we have small squares which looks something like c question number 12 this rectangle is going to stay the same so we only have this pentagon we're going to shade in this these quarters over here which means uh, we have to match if we have one two three four quarters in total that means we only have uh one quarter in total shaded that's going to be this one and that one this one is indicating that this one is going to have to be shaded so it's going to be d question number one of matrices we are going to uh minus one it's going to be if anything there's a 90 degrees clockwise rotation um so if there's a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of that same shape it's going to look like e and then question number two we have just a shape that flips so it's going to look like c and then for question 15 we're adding a quarter each time like a triangle so if we add this way then all of that we have to be focused on the triangles if we add another one it's going to look something like this we're adding a quarter of the triangle uh, or a quarter of the a uh, half of the square which looks like a triangle so it's going to be e question number 16 it seems this first one always stays in the same position while this one does a 90 degrees clockwise rotation this one is doing 90 degrees this way so it's going to be two circles two triangles facing the same way which is going to be a question number 17 um we have this arrow uh we're doing this one is going to do this whole shape is going to do a 90 degrees rotation anti-clockwise anti-clockwise means it looks something like the rest of them and then when we have these arrows we're imagining we're going to do a 90 degrees clockwise rotation anti-clockwise rotation also but then we flip the orientation this ideally should be going this way but we're going to flip it going the other way therefore let's do that rotation 90 degrees uh it fits pointing outwards and it's going to flip inwards just like this one is going to be uh inwards as well and which way should that dot be it should be on the left hand side so we get something that looks like d then question number 18 um this uh shape is going to do 90 degrees movement so 90 degrees means the bottom left corner uh so you can cross these out where does this trying uh circle go they're going to move in this co corner over here it's a 90 degrees rotate um movement so it's going to be e for 18 and then question number 19 we on the outside we have zigzag lines and it seems that these are reflections of each other sort of but it's just curvy so we're going to have an arrow pointing down and we always share however if it's a circle then it's going to be a squ uh, square so it's going to be arrow down here square over here which looks a bit like we know a square and arrow are involved so it can't be e then which way is this going it seems that 
the lines are going, this one has to be vertical, so it can't be uh, A. And then, and then if we focus just vertically, these are going to do rotations. However, each time they flip. So imagine it rotates, oh, it's going to do 90 degree rotation, 90 degree rotation again. So uh, anti-clockwise. So let's rotate this anti-clockwise. That arrow is going to end up on the left hand side pointing up, which is going to be B. And then question number 20, we have to... We have the same thing that's going to become white and go down in the over here but it is we don't know if it rotates or not just yet however these are flipped so this pentagon here we are going to flip here if it's pentagon here it's four we know we have to add a black region uh, around if this is a circle the black region has to be around here so you can cross out all of them apart from c and d and then if we're just adding a square we know between c and d that pentagon has to go white so we're going to get c question number 21 let's see what's happening going in diagonals or we always just have we know we have to have a uh, pentagon, hexagon, star, pentagon over here. We can cross out all the ones that aren't a pentagon. And then we know we have to add zero border, one border, two border. So that's the one border. This is the two border. So it's going to be E. Question number 22. Uh, we can see four, five, six, five one two three four five six seven so we're adding borders each uh, we're adding dots each time one two three one two three four we need one with five so not a one two three four five one two three four five so we're between d and e and how many sticks three one two three four five uh one two three four five six this is three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. This is two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So we add two, then one. So we're going to have four sticks, which means it's going to be E. Question 23. We can see these dots, these shadings are doing vertically a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. So 90 degrees, we'll have one here, and we'll have one there, which means you can cross out these ones. Then let's focus on the circle here. We're taking away a bit each time. So we're taking away a bit. So we're taking away uh, here. And then, so that's also rotating 90 degrees clockwise. We're taking away here and then over there. So let's take away clockwise means we or it's easier to look at it going horizontally um this taken away bit is going to go clockwise this way clockwise so this black bit this white bit is going to go clockwise so it's going to look like uh, b and then in order to for it to come around fully clockwise over here and then question number 24 we have each one of these shadings every time we need this uh lined shading lined hatching on the outside and we have diamond we're missing a square so we cross these out then we have four we need the six star that's always we're missing that gray shading so it's going to be a question number 25 we have e which is overlapping where none of them overlap question number two uh we have these arrows are always pointing to the inside shape apart from 26 where this is pointing out away from the vertex question number 27 we always have an extension of the line apart from a where this line stops over here Question number 28, uh, we've all got these shapes 
this is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. These three eighths are uh, shaded in apart from E, which only has two. Question number 29. Uh, in all of these, we can see that this arrow is on the bottom bit over here. However, B, the arrow is above on this top side of the square. Question number 30. I can see circles. They're all the same. Okay, black and white. We have four, 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 four. But, and we see that they're always, they differ on which sides they're on. Sometimes they're on the left. However, C is the only one where the semicircles are alternating. Question number 31. We see here that B is the only one where it's touching onto the other side of the shape. We can see it never touches over here, over there, but B takes up the entire width of the shape. And then 32, we can see black is always inside the circle, whereas for, let's zoom out a bit over here, for B, white is inside the circle. Question number 33, we have some hatching on the outside and four, um, they've all got four sides. However, these aren't the same on the perimeter. These all go like that. However, A is going like this in the border. Question number 34, we have it in the right hand side each time, but on this one, we have it, this um, black dot on the left hand side of the arrow. Question number uh, 35, we can see each time there's a cross shape going on. However, in C, there's no cross, it just meets. Question number 36. Let's count the amount of uh, vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can see that B is the odd one out. Question number 37. We can see three, four, five, six, seven. We need one with four, which means we're gonna end up with C. Question number two, one, two, three triangles. We can cross these out. And this is gonna alternate between being right, left, right, which means we end, oh, we this one was also going to the right as well. And they are always pointing upward, so it's in fact gonna be C. Question number three, each time we're taking away some lines, the outside first, then the inside, and it's going from, we're taking some from the top, some from the bottom. Now the bottom's gonna stay the same, which crosses out these, and then take away some from the top. Um, and each time we take away the same thing, and we're only getting rid of, so if we get rid of, um, this bottom and then that bottom that means or rather the opposite thing we get rid of the opposite thing in the every time if it takes away the left then we're going to take away the right so if we take away this um top bit we're going to take away this bottom bit we're going to get d question number four uh we can see a rotation where each one moves each way this triangle is going to hit, go here, so then the triangle has to be in the top right section. It's going to be black and pointing up, which means you can cross out these. And then we have black, white, black circle. What's changing here? The P and the square is what we need to focus on. Um, so that's going to go down and face the other way, so it's going to be A. For 41... I can see this line is moving in directions, going outside back to one, two, three. So that line is gonna be in the middle. And then this zigzag line goes to the left, to the left. When we see it's in the middle, it goes to the right. We can definitely cross out A because those there's no curvy line. Now we have to figure out where that zigzag line is going to go. Well, this zigzag is always going in and then back out, so it can't be D. It looks like none of the zigzags we have 
over here. It's between this and we can see that um, these are going to move position as well. It's going three back to one, then two. So that one is going to be on the left, the curvy this curvy one, if it's in two, it's it was in one beforehand because it's changing position, which means we're going to get E. Question number 42. Let's see this line. We're adding one each time, which means we're going to add a dotted one over here. That's all of them look consistent with that apart from E. Then what's happening over here? We've got in, out, in, out. So something that looks like D. Question number 43, this is rotating uh, 90 degrees clockwise. So we're going to have it going to the left, something like that. And it can't be, this hatch bit has to be on the left. Where is this going? This is rotating as well. It's gonna be on the bottom hand. So 43 will be C. Then question number 44, uh, we're alternating this and these, so if we focus on these alternating patterns, we're doing 90 degrees clockwise rotation going backwards, um, which means that this dotted bit will end up on the top. These um, hatch bits will end up on the middle. And remember, this is diagonal, so it's going to look like B. Question 45, we're taking away one each time. Take away this. And then when we take away that, we take away that corresponding one from the bottom. Um, next, we take away this one and let's highlight this over here. And then which means we have to take away that. So that means we just get the bottom hand of that and then just the bottom shell of the inside one um, or take away the top. We can cross out these. And then if we pay closer attention to what's happening to the outside, we get rid of this, skip one, and then get rid of this, which means we're going in a uh, clockwise direction, which means we're going to get rid of this one, and it's going to look like B if we get rid of this branch over here. Question number 46, uh, we add, and it's going to alternate between top and bottom, so it's going to be in the bottom left, we can cross these out. Um, and then the inside is going to be black, fine, and then we have one, two, three at the bottom, which means it's going to be B. And then question number 47, we have to make this travel, it's going to be semicircle over here, and it looks like we add there, so it's going to be semicircle in the uh, left hand side, uh, which is going to be E, and then question number 48, we can see over here that we're moving position going this way. So that uh, white bit is going to end up, it's going to go this way. Oh, well, if we're going backwards, then we're moving this way. So if it was here, we if this is position one, two, three, and four, we're going from three to four. Or four, three, two, one. So as we go forwards, we're going backwards. So let's focus on this. This is going three, two, one. So it was at four. The black is on the right hand side. Um, and then if this was two, it's going to be three, which means it we get a for forty-eight. Question 49, we have a rotation. This is going to point to the right hand side and that circle is gonna look like, um, that triangle is gonna look like that. And then these shapes are going, these stripes are going to be vertical when you rotate them, which means the only one that this one can be is E. Question number 50, when we rotate this uh, 90 degrees anti-clockwise, this uh, black bit will be on the bottom so we can cross these out. Oh, not E, we can't cross out E but this will be facing up, which means we will get E as our answer. The triangle will be pointing up. Question number 51. This reflection means everything will stay the same. You'll still get this house shape. However, this seven will be facing the other way around, which looks like D. 
and then question 52 once we get a reflection the black bit will be closest here this quadrant will be shaded in and then the farthest quadrant will be um shaded in over there which looks exactly like a then question number 53 b and b are common which means it's going to be that white shading these stripes are identical to c this is 53 which means that we need to have a c in it second the only one that's going to be is a question 54 b and b are the same they have a square involved uh k r and r there's pentagon we know we have a pentagon we can cross out all of them that don't have an r in them what is common here looks like we have the r is accounted for which means you have b and b that's a square we only have one type of shape which looks like m that's going to be for um m so it's going to be r m which is going to give us d uh 55 we have d and d are similar which means we've got like this quadrant uh fractioning over here so we're not gonna have any d's in our answer we can cross this out then we've accounted for these and they're not useful to us let's cross them out we have remember order doesn't matter for this one which is why you have to write down what everything means um b a e they're all different however we have a similar shading that is b so let's assume that we need to have a b involved which means you can cross out this one and then we have a c which seems to mean the square which is going to give us c b question number 56 u and u are common which looks like a square Therefore, we do not need a U in our answer. So you can cross these out. Maybe elimination is easiest for these ones. We don't need these U's. And then X and X, there's a circle involved. We also have no X's, so we can cross out this one. Uh, and then what we left with, we're left with V and V, which means a half shading. So I assume that Z is the um horizontal stripes and then the a is going to be that triangle shape which means we get b question 57 let's do g and g are similar and that is where this triangle is so it's going to be f next so we can cross these out that they don't have f's and then N and N are the same type of shading, so it's going to be P, F, which is E. Question number 58. Uh, L, M, N are all different, so that's probably going to be towards the shape. But let's confirm. K and K are horizontal, so it's going to be J, which are with N, which is square. So we are going to get E for 58. And then question number 59 over here. 60 we end up with so k and k are similar that's just dotted lines it's going to be j uh last and then r q s they're all different this one looks like r so it's going to be r j we get c question number 60 q r r s these have the same amount of dots so if it's four we can say s at the end we can cross these out and then x and x dotted lines on the outside that's going to be vs we get e for 61 we get four inside and five on the outside when you add them together they equal to nine when you have one two three four five six we have six plus three is equal to nine the only ones that equal to nine are going to be one two three four five six over here plus three on the outside which is also going to equal to nine question number 62 we have to we make we're making a shape filled with bits that are barely touching just like for b we're making a square made out of blocks that are barely touching 60 
three. Let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, three, and then let's count that as zero or one side, and then six inside, three, four. We can definitely cross out these because you always get one on the outside and one on the inside, which crosses out all of them. We don't have to count any of the vertices. We've got a shape on the inside, shape on the outside, so it's going to be C. 64. We can see two dots every single time, so we cross these out and they're always going to be inside the shape. And the same size and the same shading, it's going to be C. And then 65, 66, 67. 65 we're always going to make it what seems like a square in the middle uh, or we just have two shapes that are overlapping and they're going to be the exact same size every time which means we have to cross out all of these because a is the only one where it's the exact same kind of circle overlapping same one stripes have to be vertical every single time and this is going to be four for every time we have a quadrilateral, so it's going to be E. 67, uh, the arrow is going clockwise, which means the only one we can get is B. 68, um, we have two shapes, one black on top, cross this one out. They're always on the outside, uh, like touching the outside, therefore it has to be E. Let's see what's happening for 69. The stripes are always going the same way, which this one isn't. The inside shape isn't striped, and E doesn't. The inside shape isn't stri striped either. C is the middle shape is the wrong way around, so we're gonna get D. And then question 70. Um, we have five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have three, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have double uh, each shape. So one, two, three, four. This should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one's already been. Let's see this one. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We look like there's double in this one. So that's going to be B. Question number 71. We have three shapes, always one striped, always one black, and always one white. So between these, they're always going to be on the outside, and they're the same shapes. These are different shapes, so it's going to be D. And then 72, we have a pentagon with these lines on the inside, and these are two black, one white which all of them have, and we can rotate this every time. If we rotate the shape, we can end up having this. We have these dots on the left-hand side, and then the cross, and then this dotted line that goes throughout. So this one can't be rotated to look like the shops, the dots are on the right. This one is the only one where the dots are on the left-hand side. So imagine we rotate this. Um, this way and then we end up say this is shape a this is shape b c is the only time only one we can rotate to have the dots on the left and the cross on the right 